Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your Renzi Benzi. Today we're going to make another reaction video and this time we're going to react to Chanel's performance, which is Lomo, at Festival de Cantau. So today, um, they're currently on their semi-finals and their final night would be on March 12th, Lisbon time, so that's probably like March 13th, uh, Philippine Standard Time. Anyway, um, let's see if the performance of Chanel at Festival de Cantau is still the same as what we have seen at Ben Dorm Fest. Let's find out in today's video. But before anything else, I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much to my new subscribers and to those people who take time to write their comments in the comment section. And I read those, like everything. Like I read everything. And I try to respond to almost every comments, but there are comments that are, you know, that don't need and response at all, if that makes sense. But yeah, I really, really appreciate it. And whether if it's like positive or negative, I try to you know, to be um, authentic with my reactions, with my um, reviews, with, um, with also with my opinions. Sometimes people disagree with me and that's okay. I mean, like, I'm not always everyone's the cup of tea, but yeah, it's always, that's the beauty of, you know, making reaction videos and, you know, saying all your opinions about what you feel about that song, if that makes sense. Anyway, as what I always say, airport's ready and... Here we go. Play. Mmm. I like the lighting. Mmm, sultrier. Tengo problema no monetary. Feel free to sing with me. Not the secretary. <laughs> I love that part. Notice the change in her costume as well as her backup dancers. Romper corazones. Limitaciones. Take a video like a slow mo. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Celo, do, do, lo, lo. I could wish you could do the same bow. Take a sip of my cola. <laughs> It's really hard to sing and dance at the same time. Oh, I can't do that. Ooh. Yeah, Chanel serving, piping hot. If you wish you get to symbol. All right, here's our favorite part. She must have done this a million times already. <laughs> it's already like in it in her system. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. She's really beautiful. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Limitaciones. Motracello. Wow. Like a summer. Mo, 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 mo. Here we have Nautic. We can do one more, 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 more. If you wish we could do Simbo. <laughs> wow, that was really good. Okay, there's no question that Chanel is very beautiful, very talented, and she had what it takes to be the next Eurovision star. No question to that. That performance was really good. It didn't disappoint. But you have to take note that dancing and singing at the same time, especially when the dancing involves a lot of movements, 
like what we have seen earlier, it's not an easy task, I tell you. You need to practice your breathing in order to attain those high notes, in order to sing really well, in order to sing and your audience can still understand what you're trying to sing while doing those you know, physical tasks. It's not an easy task. Another good example for this one to compare and to do some comparison is during the party concert of Eurovision 2019 at uh, Tel Aviv Israel. So they have this kind of like mini events um, days prior or weeks prior the main event. So they have this mini concert with some of the Eurovision artists from all around Europe. So I think you you're all are familiar with She Got Me by Luca Henny, the, um, the Swiss representative of Eurovision 2019. So he was performing his um, She Got Me in front of live audience. There's, there are like a lot of movements in the dance moves as well. And he went well while he was singing, he was kind of like out of tune. So I can completely understand that it's not really that easy to dance, like giving your all to the dance moves, but you know, it sometimes compromises the quality of your voice. So it needs a lot of attention, it needs to have you need to have like a lot of breathing exercise just to belt out those high notes. It's quite similar to this song. It's heavy, it's filled with a lot of movements. You know, it's really difficult to, to achieve those. And I have to give credits to, to Chanel because she really is an artist and she knows how to own the stage. That's what I admire about her. And um, what else? Uh, the staging is quite similar, but I am expecting a lot when Chanel is going to perform that at Turin because obviously it will be a bigger stage you will be performing at a very huge arena. You'll perform to a lot of people, not just the whole population of, let's like, say, Spain, but you're talking about worldwide, so it has to be grand if she wants to win your election song contest. You can actually see some changes with, when it comes to her outfit, which is, I don't know if, she, if it's going to be like the final outfit, but who knows? I mean, her team is very, very creative. She has like the best of the best. So I won't be surprised if she finishes like top three, top two, or even win your Eurovision Song Contest. I'm happy for Chanel. She deserves it. So are you looking forward to see Chanel's live performance at Turin this May? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to read those. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons as well as the notification bell because you'll be the first one to know that I have new content here on YouTube. Once again, this is Yabo Renzi Benzi saying adios amigos, stay safe and be kind to others. Take care, bye bye.